Thailand, a country known for its strategic location in Southeast Asia, has long envisioned a game-changing project, the Craw Canal. This ambitious plan aims to carve a 128-kilometer waterway through the Craw Isthmus, connecting the Andaman Sea to the Gulf of Thailand. By doing so, it would save ships over 1,200 kilometers of travel and cut several days off their journeys, providing a vital shortcut to the congested Strait of Malacca. With an estimated cost of $28 billion, this canal would stand alongside the world's most significant maritime passages, like the Suez and Panama Canals. But after centuries of discussions, could all these efforts eventually result in a functional canal? Or is there yet another twist awaiting us? If you looked at the narrow strait separating the Malay Peninsula from Sumatra in Indonesia, you would see one of the world's busiest and most strategically important shipping lanes. Known as the Strait of Malacca, this narrow passage connects the Indian and Pacific Oceans and is a critical artery for global trade. Every year, tens of thousands of ships pass through these waters, carrying goods that feed some of the world's largest economies. However, the increasing traffic in this narrow waterway has led to a pressing issue, congestion, and with it, the growing risk of maritime accidents and piracy. The Strait of Malacca, despite its vital importance, has become a choke point. Ships must slow down and navigate with caution. Any disruption, whether from an accident or geopolitical tensions, can send ripples through the global economy. These growing challenges have prompted Thailand to revisit an old idea, a solution that could change the future of global shipping, the Kra Canal. This solution dates back hundreds of years, having first been proposed in the 17th century, but repeatedly shelved due to technological limitations. The idea of building a canal across Thailand's Isthmus of Kra has resurfaced in modern times as a possible answer to the Malacca Dilemma. In the mid-20th century, as global trade expanded, the project became a serious topic of discussion. By the 2000s, interest had intensified as countries and investors realized the potential economic and strategic benefits. However, an unexpected shift in strategy has emerged. Instead of cutting through the landscape with the canal, Thailand is now turning to an ambitious alternative, a massive land bridge that could redefine trade routes between the Indian and Pacific Oceans. This surprising pivot offers a bold solution to bypass the strait entirely, promising not only to alleviate maritime congestion, but also to introduce a safer, more efficient pathway for global shipping. But what ultimately kept the Thai Canal from moving beyond theory to reality, and what sets the land bridge apart as a feasible solution? The Kron Canal was imagined as a massive waterway stretching across 100 kilometers of rugged terrain, cutting travel distances by 1,200 kilometers and saving ships crucial days at sea. The sheer scale of this endeavor is mind-boggling, with the canal planned to be a staggering 400 meters wide and 25 meters deep. The excavation process alone would require the movement of millions of cubic meters of earth, transforming the landscape in one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects the world has ever seen. This engineering marvel, if realized, would operate at sea level, eliminating the need for the complex lock systems seen in canals like Panama. Ships would be able to pass through seamlessly, drastically reducing transit times between the Indian and Pacific Oceans. The Thai Canal would be able to accommodate the largest ships in the world, from supertankers to colossal cargo vessels, offering a more efficient alternative to the notoriously crowded Strait of Malacca. For global shipping companies, this shortcut promises to save time and money, with estimates suggesting that large oil tankers could cut up to $350,000 per trip by avoiding the longer route. But the Thai Canal isn't a dream of convenience. It's a project with massive geopolitical and economic implications. 
By offering a faster route, the canal could shift trade flows, challenge established maritime hubs like Singapore, and even alter the dynamics of global energy supply chains. Additionally, the route, cutting through pristine landscapes and vital ecosystems, would likely displace thousands of people and disrupt wildlife. Some estimates suggest that over 60,000 residents would be uprooted, and entire communities of fishermen and farmers would be affected by the destruction of their natural resources. Faced with these challenges, the Thai government has turned its attention to a more feasible alternative, the Land Bridge Project. This ambitious new plan aims to achieve similar goals, but through an entirely different approach. Instead of digging through the Kra Isthmus, the land bridge would connect Thailand's east and west coasts via a network of highways, railroads, and pipelines. It's a bold pivot, a land-based solution to what was once envisioned as a colossal canal. The land bridge project is no less impressive in its scope. On the west, ships enter the Andaman Sea, and on the east, they sail through the Gulf of Thailand. Normally, vessels navigating between the Indian and Pacific Oceans must travel through the Strait of Malacca, a critical but congested passage. The land bridge, however, offers a shortcut. Two new deep-sea ports will be built, one on the Andaman Sea and the other on the Gulf of Thailand. These ports will serve as key entry and exit points for global shipping. Instead of taking the longer, crowded route through the Strait of Malacca, ships would dock at one port, where their goods would be efficiently transferred onto land. From there, the cargo will be moved across a 90-kilometer stretch of roads, railways, and pipelines, linking the two coasts and allowing for rapid, cost-effective transportation between oceans. This overland route saves valuable time and reduces shipping distance, creating a faster, safer, and more efficient alternative for global trade. It's a transformative vision, offering a faster and more efficient alternative for global shipping, while sidestepping many of the environmental and social concerns that plagued the Thai Canal. The construction of these new deep water ports would turn Thailand into a global logistics powerhouse, rivaling the established maritime hubs in Southeast Asia. The scale of the land bridge is staggering, capable of handling millions of containers annually and facilitating faster, cheaper trade across the region. The ports, combined with the new road and rail links, would provide a seamless connection for goods moving between the Indian and Pacific Oceans, drastically reducing transit time and costs for shipping companies. But even this ambitious plan comes with its own set of challenges. The success of the land bridge hinges on whether it can attract enough shipping traffic to justify its enormous cost. Ships using the land bridge will need to dock at either of the new ports and have their cargo transported over land, adding time and handling costs that could deter some shipping companies. The well-established Strait of Malacca route, with its existing infrastructure and familiarity to mariners, will be hard to compete with. Convincing the global shipping industry to embrace this new route will be a major hurdle for the Thai government. Despite these challenges, the Thai government is pushing forward with the land bridge project, with official construction set to begin in 2026. The project was first approved by the Thai cabinet in October 2023. The initial phases of the land bridge are expected to be partially operational by 2030, with full completion targeted by 2039. The land bridge project represents Thailand's best chance to establish itself as a critical player in global logistics. With major presentations and investor roadshows conducted in 2024, the Thai government is determined to attract international funding for this $28 billion project. Will the land bridge be the key to unlocking Southeast Asia's potential? Or will it fall short like so many grand infrastructure dreams before it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more updates.